The teleport node is a new node in Mari. Essentially, it replaces connections by sending and transmitting without the need for a noodle input between two nodes. The teleport broadcaster will transmit all the data with no restrictions from the nodes it's connected to. The teleport receiver will receive that transmission so that it can pass the data to other nodes. It makes working much faster and clearer by tidying up messy node connections, making it easy to read for you and other artists if they pick up your work. You can also quickly reuse elements such as textures and masks in other areas of the node graph without creating long or overlapping connections. It's a bit like having an element library. It works inside and outside of nested groups, materials or custom procedural nodes and can even be exported within them whilst remembering which broadcast it's looking for, making data transmission into and out of groups easier. In the Teleport Broadcaster's node properties, there's a button called Focus Receiver. It will show you a list of receivers that the broadcaster is transmitting to. In the receiver nodes, you have the same button, but for the broadcaster. Once selected, you can quickly jump between broadcast and receiver to easily navigate the node graph without needing to manually find your nodes. The Show Broadcasted Node Properties button allows you to modify the element which is attached to the broadcaster. It enables you to do modifications from afar without having to go back to a broadcaster, allowing you to be more efficient. Lastly, you can customize the color of your teleport nodes in preferences under node category colors, enabling you to easily differentiate receiver nodes from broadcaster nodes.